Hi friends. Today we are going to discuss would like and should like. The difference between would like and should like and want. In which context it should be used and it should not be used. It's a correct application should be known. We should understand the correct application. Most of the people they have doubts on this matter. So would like should like means want. But some people use want, some people use would like or should like, either would like or should like. And what is the difference? That's what we are going to discuss. Would like to or should like, should like to plus present. Present means the first form of the verb, we want, like a go, eat, drink, sleep, drive, like that. Other forms of the verb cannot be used here because there is a two. You can see two here. It becomes infinity. So after would like and should like to, would like to, should like to, you should use present form of the verb. It is very much essential. You should not forget it. Okay. And its meaning is the same as want. What is the meaning? Want. Instead of using want, you can use would like or should like. And when you use want or would like or should like. So when you use would like or should like instead of want, what is the meaning? How does it differ? What is the distinguish between would like and want? In which context we should use would like and in which context we should use want? That is what we have to discuss. And want means would like and should like. As I told you before, this would like and should like, it shows politeness. That is the main point you, we have to understand. The main point is would like and should like shows would like. Either would like or should like shows the politeness. Whereas want does not show any politeness. Suppose if you come across a senior most officer in your company. So you wanted to know his name. What will you ask? Sir. I want to know your name. Will you ask so? No, never. You should not ask so. When you ask so, he will understand its meaning and all the impression about you will be lost. There is a chance to lose all the impression about you on English. He will understand you do not have much more knowledge on English. That's why. So you should not ask it because there is no politeness in want. When you use this want, there is no politeness. You can ask to the junior persons, youngsters, and the office boy. These type of people, you can ask them, what do you want? You can ask the child, what do you want? You can ask the office boy. But you should not ask the senior most officer this. When you come across your principal of a school, or the teacher, what you should do, what, should, what you should ask them. Well, I want to know your name. Will you ask so? No, you should not ask so. That is the major difference. You should ask, I would like to know your name, sir. I would like to know your name. Sir, I would like to know your name. You should ask so. Then he will understand the politeness of your speech. Otherwise, he will understand it is impolite. You will understand that it is impolite. In order to avoid this problem, you should understand the difference. Commonly, the people, generally speaking, they do not know. Generally speaking, the common people, they do not know. When you hear the first word by using want, you will use it. You will start using it for a long time. Whether it is correct or not, whether it is polite or not, you do not understand. But if you want to know this, there is a correct application. 
This is the correct application. Means it gives much more politeness. It gives much more politeness when we use would like or should like. So you can use either would like or should like, no problem. But whenever you use this would like to or should like to or want, present form should be used. You should not use the other forms of the word. Past to password plus form, ing form. This type of form, the remaining four forms should not be, could not be used. So, it is a critical point we have to understand. Would like, should like, use only for showing politeness. Suppose, you walk with your friend in the street and you ask him, uh, would you like to have coffee? Do you want coffee? You can ask. Do you want coffee? But there is no politeness. Would you like to have coffee? Yes, there is politeness. Would you like to have something? Would you like to have something? Do you want to have something? You can ask both. But one, would you like, when you use, would you like? It shows politeness. Whereas, on the other hand, want does not show any politeness. So when you use these type of things, you should be much more careful. That is the difference. Would like and should like. You can use both. And the difference is want and would like and should like is the difference. Whenever you use a would like and should like and want, the verb form will be present form. And uh, suppose you sit in a conference hall. In a meeting hall, it's a, there's a meeting is going on, conducting is uh, go, a meeting is conducted, or a meeting is going on, and you are the meeting, you are sitting there. In between meetings, you have a doubt. So immediately, what will you do? You will get up and ask the person, "Sir, I want to know one thing. Will you ask so? You should not ask so. It is impolite." It is impolite. You should not ask so. You should get up and say, Sir, I would like to know. I would like to ask a question. Or I would like to know. Then he will answer. The other person will understand. The persons who are attending the meeting will understand that you are qualified when you use would like or should like. So when you use want, they will understand your schooling. You did not get an opportunity to go to school. You created some certificates and joined the company. There is a chance to measure you. They will measure you. So you should avoid the measuring. Why using these type of politics? There are many these type of phrases and strange sentences in English. It gives much more politeness. You do not lose anything, but you get much. You do not lose anything, but you get much. You get much. So that's why we should understand where it should be applied and where it should not be applied. When you understand this, it will be possible for you to use it in your own way. So we should use it without having any grammatical mistake in English. Likewise, when you speak also, the same thing will happen. So when you go to a food court, suppose you go to a food court with your friends, you are sitting there at that time, the waiter. Waiter comes and asks you. He comes and asks you, Sir, what would you like? What would you like to have? What would you like to drink? Do you know that? Do you know that? The meaning? It means it shows the politeness of the waiter. It shows the politeness. Otherwise, he could have asked you. Otherwise, he could have asked you, Sir, what do you want? But they will not ask. Why? It does not show any politeness. That's why they ask, Sir, what would you like to drink? What would you like to drink? Would you like to drink coffee? Would you like to drink tea? Would you like to drink juice? They may ask these type of words. That means that they will ask would like and should like. So, my point is this. Would like and should like 
is the same meaning of want. But people, most of the people, 99 percentage of the people, they use want because it is very easy. And moreover, they have some doubts on this area. That might be the reason why they use want. When they join the company, from that time onwards they are here. Sometimes he may be an office boy. So all the people ask him, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? So naturally what will happen? After six months or one month, he will study that. And he will start asking, what do you want to the senior most officer? So what will he esteem you? What will he think about you? They may ask you. They will ask you. What do you want when they when you enter their room? When you enter their cabin, they may ask you, what do you want? But you should not ask, as an office boy, should not ask this. So we should understand the critical point. That means whenever you come across a senior master fellow, you should ask, you should use would like or should like instead of want. Instead of using want, you should use would like or should like. Then you will understand, even though you are an office boy, you understand the brightness in English and you are qualified. You got some degree from the university. There is a chance to understand that, even though you did not get the university degree. So, I will write two of our sentences. Would you like to have coffee or tea? Would you like to have coffee or tea? You can ask one of your friends while sitting in the court, food court. You should not ask what? Do you want coffee or tea? You can ask. But it does not show any politeness. Would you like to have coffee or tea? Would you like to sit here? Would you like to sit here for some time? Would you like to sit here? You can ask because it shows Instead of asking this, you can ask, do you want to sit here? Instead of asking this, instead of asking this, you can ask, would you like to sit here? So sorry, uh, do you want to sit here? Both you can ask, but the difference is in politeness. One shows politeness, other shows any politeness. Other shows any politeness and does not show that shows not a shows other does not show any politeness so that is the reference would you like and should like would like and should like there you can use would like also would you like to come with me would you like to come with me next question WHRD what would you like to have, to have for dinner. What would you like to have for dinner? What would you like to have for dinner? When you come across English people, they speak like these words. You know? So, what would you like to have for dinner? Yes, I would like to have uh, uh, spaghetti for dinner. They will say that. Spaghetti means an Italian food. So, whenever you use these type of things, you should understand where it should be applied and where it should not be applied. Without knowing this, you will use want, 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 whenever and wherever you get an opportunity to use this, you will use want, 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 want. But the other person who listens to you will understand your qualification. And all the impression about it will be lost there's a chance so in order to avoid that we have to use would like should like in the proper way okay i will come with the new ideas 
in the next episode all the best